So um, there can be some studies which are applicable. They're just called uh, studies for solid tumors. Certainly sarcomas are solid tumors. Uh, they're rare solid tumors. They comprise less than 1% of all uh, solid tumor cancers that occur in the United States. There are about 1.4 million uh, new cancers that occur each year and only about 13,000 sarcomas. Uh, and, um, amongst those, there are 100 different diagnoses practically um, of uh, different sarcomas, each one which may have a unique treatment. So um, if there are such things as phase two studies uh, available, to me that's the best option in general for people with a sarcoma if they qualify otherwise because it means the drug has been tested to some degree and we know what dose more or less to give people. Uh, the situation where you may see the term solid tumor used is more with what are called phase one studies. And these are studies in which we don't even know what the right dose is yet to give people and we enroll a few people at a time and give them increasing doses of medication until we find out what the a maximum dose that people tolerate before they get sick. So uh, in those sorts of studies, we really don't care what type of cancer is involved. We want to find out about the side effects. And uh, this is where people with uh, sarcoma can get involved in research very early and uh, learn about, uh, um, you know, they may find a, a new compound that may be, may be applicable to them. In fact, we use uh, some of the results that we find from those phase one studies to sometimes direct to a new phase two study, uh, specifically for sarcoma, if we see good results with the phase one study.